Hello everybody, my name is Kara on Fire and welcome back to a brand new video on Kernan Exiles. Today we are looking at Thralls, the very best of Thralls. And I have a lot of them with me today, so you have a wide variety to choose from. We'll be going over damage, HP, location, and why are they so good. In no particular order though, I'm going to start this side with an absolute classic. It's been a very good for all year after year. It is the one, the only, the Delincia Snow Hunter. And she is just a very well-rounded thrall. My only issue with her is that she's not always that easy to find. However, she is a very good lady. Um, as most Forgotten Tribe Clan is, they usually will start off with 15, 30 in there, and then they have quite a nice vitality, health bonus, etc. And even there, you can see she has a 6% strength damage bonus. So, She's a very well-rounded thrall. She will start with 3,106 HP and has a very good damage multiplier. Second best in the game. You'll see who the first best is very soon. Um, but she's a very, very good thrall. And she has a doppelganger called Delincia the Accursed. She is also an absolute clone. <laughs> she's exactly the same, but she's the Sipta version. So if you want to find Delincia Snow Hunter, look in the Mounds of the Dead Camp. If you want to find Delincia the Accursed, look for the Temple of the Loon, or you'll need a Purge to find her. Next, we're looking at Seeker Iris and a few others, aka Digger Yukon, Varnish Silverfinger or Sliverfinger, and Excavator Darius. I'm absolutely going to butcher some names today, so don't worry about it. I'm sorry in advance, but it's just going to be how it is, because I'm me. <laughs> anyway, Seeker Iris. She is also really good. Not as good damage, but she does start off with a little bit better HP. However, the thing with these frauds is they are kind of like the relic hunter treasure seekers in a way as they have the same statistics as they do and you can see they have agility damage bonus so maybe a bit better with agility damage weapons and you can see she comes out with some nice starting grit armor and all of that so she's exactly the same as all of these three back here they are duplicates clones they do the exact same thing they look the exact same inside as you can see one thing I will say though, you need to bear in mind when it comes to getting thralls, I want to put this as a disclaimer for you guys, is growth chance. So you can see this guy is absolutely amazing for vitality. 100% growth chance in it. Wow, he's going to be awesome. He's going to put most of his points in vitality because of this. But not every digger is going to be the same as another digger. The, this digger is really good. However, I might get a vitality digger that has like 30% growth chance in vitality. So, like these are all clones, right? I look in here and you can see they still have a very good vitality growth chance. But it's not the same. And it's going to be the same with Mr. Sliverthinger as well. It has a lower one. And it's going to be the same with the Mrs. Seeker Iris down here. So, just because you get a good named thrall like this doesn't mean they're always going to have the best, best growth chance or grow the same. They could grow very differently. Remember, you can use food bonuses to help with the growth chance so it grows into a stat as it levels to be more what you want. So, AK okay, Seeker Iris here, if I wanted her to grow in strength, it would be a bad thrall because it's 40% and I could up that with food but she's more likely going to level in vitality and grit just because her base percentage is a lot higher. So just bear that in mind when you're leveling thralls and stuff. Uh, all of their growth chances are random. It's RNG. So you're going to have to see. This is why I like certain thralls like Leon because he always spawns and you're guaranteed a Leon every time you go on Exiled Lands map. So just bear that in mind, and we'll move on to our next one. This next one is a Delincia clone. However, I wanted it on its own because it is actually a new part of sorcery. You can get this via the blowback event, and that is a new event you can find on Scepter and Exiled Lands. And yeah, exactly the same stats, and you can go and find it in the event. So that's really, really cool. Plus, one thing about this guy is, remember, if you want to tame one of these, it's not just your regular Stormsick Warriors, it's the Golden Bar ones. So if you want an easy Delincia Snow Hunter, look out for blowback events and you can find a Golden Bar Stormsick Warrior and tame that instead. Loads of them pop out of the event, so it's kind of like, you know, you're guaranteed a Delincia Snow Hunter 
but it's called a Stormsick Warrior and might look different every time. So that's another really good one that's out at the moment that's very new to 3.0 Age of Sorcery. Definitely keep an eye out for it. It's one of those top tier thralls that is now coming into the top tier pool. Next we're looking into our Accursed Berserker and our Sumerian Berserker. They are clones of each other, they are exactly the same, but they have the highest damage in the game at 1.12. They have the highest multiplier out of any other thrall ever in the damage department. However, their HP is not as amazing. However, they are forgotten tribe, especially the Sumerian Berserker one. So you can see the vitality health bonus is going to get some more health when it levels. It starts off with a lot of health, so it's good. On the Accursed side as well, she's exactly the same. She's a clone, like I was saying. So exactly the same stats. And you can find Sumerian Berserker at the Mounds of the Dead, usually at the bottom by the water you can find one, or you can find it in the actual mounds out of a fighter spawn. For the Accursed one though, it's slightly different, you're actually guaranteed one every time on the Scepter. Go to the Lay Shrine of the Goblinoid, and at the top of the Lay Shrine is a guaranteed Accursed Berserker, so if you want one of those, go for it. It's um, Let me just show you on the map right here. Go over there and go get one. Moving on to my next unusual choice is Beast Tamer Frida, and she has a lot of clones, four of them to be exact, and they all come out of the same thing. However, they're one of the highest spawning health NPCs you can get with a base health of 4141. So that's a lot of base HP you can get out of this girl. She also has a damage multiplier of 0.8944. She's really good though because she's forgotten tribes so she's also going to level really nicely and uh, yeah she has a really good health bonus also in there. So very good one is Beast Tamer Frida however not so easy to get same with Beast Tamer Ulfran and Varet and Cormag Beastblood and the same with Lesterette the Unsung Hero. They all come out of one purge in particular one of my favorite purges actually ever a clan of Sumerian Beast Tamer purge which you can only tend to get on exiled lands and it's usually just kind of above the man to the dead you need a base however it's one of the most funnest purges I've done ever and uh, yeah you can get these guys and they usually tend to be like absolute tanks of HP especially if they roll really well which you can absolutely do with the elixir of rebirth in 3.0 which you can make with sorcery in your alchemist bench so these ones are really good if you can get your fingers on them. Uh, they're like kind of Delincia, but with more health, a little bit less damage as a base, but really decent. Next, we move on to another fan favourite. It is the Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker, coming at 1.118 damage and 3,030 HP at a base. We're not looking at leveled up, by the way, because it varies a lot and is very random. So we're looking at level zero for everybody, so you know. Um, what the base stats are and what you're going to get on the tin, basically. But Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker is very, very good. You can find them very commonly on the Exiled Lands map. They're all over the unnamed city. So if you want one, they're absolutely banging and well-rounded of a thrall. Um, and inside we look, they have agility in there. That's my only kind of oof with them because they have 16% in agility damage as a bonus. So they're better kind of with agility weapons. And then you can see they have the Vit and the Grit. So they're nice with armor, nice with health. Um, if only that 20 was in strength. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. Anyway, moving over to the other side, we'll look at these later. They're my honorable mentions. Um, you're going to see a dancer here as well. That's interesting. Nobody usually shows a dancer, right? But I found a solid one. Um, Dacius the Sharp. He has three other clones. Um, they're all from the Well of Skelos. You can get them. And he comes out at 1.118 damage and 200, uh, sorry, 2,661 HP. So, really good damage stat. Not so amazing in HP, but however, it is a Well of Skelos faction, Volteris of Skelos. So, you can see um, they roll out this way, 15 strength, 2 agility, 10 vit, 3 grit. So it comes out with 6% strength damage bonus. Surprisingly nothing in agility. And then the Vit health bonus is not amazing. But 30 grit in there. So extra armor bonus. And they are kind of like a nice um, 
I kind of think of all trees like a person of all trades. They kind of do a bit of everything, so they're that kind of thrall, if you like that kind of thing. And they have one of the highest damage pools as well, so the second most highest damage behind the berserkers and stuff. Um, and then you have all their friends, so Spinister the Marauder, Eri the Ravager, and you have Kiss this Flesh Terror. <laughs> they're all exact clones and they actually look like clones as well which is actually kind of funny um, but you can find them in the Well of Skelos on the Exod Lands map if you want one of those they are very solid next one is I thought I'd put this in I wanted to put a dancer in I tried to look for a bearer but they were all garbage um, <laughs> but this was the most solid dancer I could find and it's Leonelli and uh, she's decent dude she's decent for a dancer she has 0 0.8 damage so not as amazing as some but it's really solid for a dancer and she has a base hp of 2944 and the best thing about leah <laughs> nelly is she is a forgotten tribe faction lady so you can see her hp is really good and her strength is also really good so if you can find yourself a Leonelli, she's amazing. She also has a clone. She has Leonelli the Accursed, which you can find on Sipta. Now, if you want yourself a Leonelli, though, you're going to have to look at Mounds of the Dead or Stargazer's Crest. Or you might have a chance of getting one in the Sumerian Berserker Purge. As for Mrs. Accursed over there, you're going to have to look in like Accursed Camps with dancer spawns so mostly around the isle of dusk you can find a lot of places like this and you'll have a good chance if there's a dancer spawn just keep killing it and you might have a leonelli the accursed come upon you and she would be a decent fighter for you not as decent as like um, this guy over here but if you wanted a dancer that is a good fighter then i would highly recommend a leonelli Next we're looking at one of my favourites, absolute favourites, is Leon. He has his clone brother over there, which is Janos, so he's a clone. However, the reason I like Leon, people ask this, why do you like Leon so much? You know, he's not the best, but he's very good. The reason I like Leon is because he spawns every time at Leon's watch, so he's incredibly easy to farm for a good growth chance. So if you see this one, he's kind of stinky apart from his strength. If I wanted a better vit roll, I can just keep going to Leon's watch and I can get a Leon every time. Like, I don't have to farm painfully, like, for something like a Leonelli that might not always spawn. I can go and get Leon guaranteed. He's a guaranteed good thrall. That's why I like him. He's very, very good. Even Janos is not hard to spawn. You can find him in Nordheimer camps. He's very, very common as well. And you can usually find him in the outskirts of Asgard. Anyway, damage is 0 0.9782. 2, 5, so that's really solid damage and 2087 hp and he is here's of the north so they do the highest strength stat in attributes as they start off and 10 in vit um so that's really nice so you're going to see he has one of the highest max strength bonus damages starting off out of any other faction of thralls because here's of the north are the highest damaging faction you can have so really good and he has a decent vit health bonus grit you know nice extras there you have so that's Leon and janos some really nice rules i really like them and just because it's so easy to get Leon is why he is very very special to me plus the series you know <laughs> moving on to another one unexpected but it is a nordheimer berserker it is not as good as other berserkers for sure however he has some decent hp and some decent damage so 0 0.903 damage and hp is 1789 probably one of the lowest hps i'm looking at here today however if you can find one they're pretty decent again here's the north faction stats right there and they have that nice 14 percent strength in there so you know if you have one of these and you level it up it will be better once it's leveled up and it could be a decent one not as good as a lean i would recommend if you can get a lean over this one then absolutely do which you can um, but if you have one of these this would also be good you know so it's not an awful thrall and my last very very good thrall i'm looking at today is the cultist veteran he is decent and he also comes out of the altar of the east surge the cultists of dagon so you can get them out of there on scepter if you want them and he comes out at 0 0.8385 damage and has 2604 hp so he's actually pretty decent of a dude and we're gonna look inside of him you can see 
He turns out a little bit differently in his stats. He has 15, 15 agility, 10 vit, and 20 grit. So he's the highest armor one we've looked at today, so he gets a really good armor bonus. So I thought I would include him because he is a solid one. If you can get one on Scepter, um, they're actually really decent. They're not as good as damaging as if you can get an Accursed Alincia or if you can get an Accursed Berserker, but there's another option. And that's kind of what I wanted to do in this video today because usually when you like see other people's videos and stuff, they give you like five options. <laughs> I want to give you all the options and tell you where you can get lots of different things. Um, and then hopefully this will, uh, you know, help a little bit. I don't know. If you're having trouble looking for certain rules that you like, perhaps you really want a dancer fighter, Leonelli is your lady. Anyway, looking at honourable mentions, I'm just going to mention them for their names. Umbra the Slayer, Carthok the Great Beast, Syra Brennan, <laughs> and Kunar the Invader. Those are all honourable mentions. They are good rules, not as good as all of these. But if you can get one of these, they're also kind of decent. But I would definitely recommend the other ones over these ones. But I thought I'd just leave them in because they were also kind of close in choice for me when it came to picking out some of the best. But these guys are pretty much the best you can get if you will, in reality. Oh, there's some star metal coming down over there. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much the best you can get. I definitely recommend. If you can get Berserker, they're really nice. Um... But if you can get something more well-rounded, like that nice uh, treasure hunter, that's really nice. If you can get Delincia, she's really nice. Um, my favourite, probably faction-wise, would definitely be his of the North or, you know, Forgotten Tribe. So that's kind of Delincia, Sumerian kind of thing. Or it's kind of Leon, is that kind of thing. So those are my favourites statistically when it comes out to that. Apart from that, that is my choice of rules. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know in the comments down below what is your favourite thrall? What do you consider the best thrall? Have I missed it out in this video or have I included it? And let me know why you think it's the best thrall. Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!